there! This video is all about how to work the darning stitch. Now, the darning stitch is a really simple stitch that you can use to fill in spaces if you want an open look to your painted canvas. I already anchored my thread in what would be the border if I were working this on a painted canvas using an L stitch. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is bring my needle to the front in the place that I would begin stitching if I were using this on a painted canvas. And I'm going to count over one, two, three to the right and take my needle down to the back. The next step is to count over one canvas thread to the right and come back up in that hole so that you have one canvas thread between your first stitch and your second stitch. Count over three, two, three and take your needle to the back. Again, skip a canvas thread and bring your needle to the front. And then count over to the right. One, two, three. Take your needle to the back. And we'll do one more. Come up one canvas thread to the right of where you took your needle to the back in the last stitch. Count over one, two, three and take your needle to the back. Now, it's a super easy stitch. You can see it's uh, really just like running stitches. And to work your second row, you're gonna drop down one canvas thread, and you're gonna count over to the left two canvas threads from where you just took your needle to the back. So we're gonna count over one, two, bring our needle to the front, and then count over again three stitches, one, two, three, and take the needle to the back. And you'll notice that this first stitch on the second row is really offset from the stitches on the first row. And that's gonna be the case all the way across this second row. The stitches in the second row are gonna be offset from the stitches in the first row so that they're sort of centered over that, that canvas thread that we skipped in row one. Again, come to the front, skip that canvas thread, and count over three, one, two, three, take your needle to the back, and you can see how they're offset from one another. Again, skip that one canvas thread, take your needle, or bring your needle to the front, count over to the left, one, two, three, take your needle to the back, and there you have a darning stitch pattern being established. And you would just continue working in this manner until you fill the area that you wanted to, to cover in on the canvas that you're working on. So, that's how you work a darning stitch. 